do you want him to text daily or just check up every second day or once a week? I will check up for once. I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> you will text me every day. Like, that's a given. I've, yo, the experience of people not talking to you, Gupelu 24 hours, is a no no. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining us. If it's your first time here, please do yourselves a favor. Do subscribe down below. Do become a part of our family. And if you've been here since day one, if you've been supporting me through it all, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I really hope that you stay and you enjoy this video. So today I have another guest. Well, technically the same guest, but <laughs> I don't think she needs an introduction. But for formality's sake, in case you're here for the very first time, I will let her introduce herself. Hi guys, uh, it's Stimpando. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was supposed to make it dramatic. No, it's fine. Anyways, yes, it's the one and only. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> yes, a familiar face. So today we are doing something we've been wanting to do for the longest time. Since last year. Since last year, January 40, not even halfway. We are doing the crazy girlfriend tag obviously yeah we're just gonna get started there's no need to explain i feel like a lot of you guys know how this works um it's very simple it's a 10 question what 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 thing to find out if you are a crazy girlfriend <laughs> it's been done so many times but it just wasn't complete without yeah. us so of course <laughs> let's okay, ask good. questions well we can take turns okay so the first question do you think you're a crazy girlfriend who wants this first? <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Crazy is a subjective term. <clears throat> what is chaos to the fly is normality for the frog. So I can't say I'm crazy. No. <laughs> but of crazy course... <laughs> people never admit. They never admit that they're crazy. No, I think in the I'm past just... I have been. But now, okay, now I'm single. But now, I don't think I'd be a crazy girlfriend. No, it's not cute. Okay. Well, I think, personally, I don't think I am. I just think that people aren't consistent. People aren't consistent. And then when I react to inconsistency, and I say, I'm crazy. But I'm not. That's what all crazy I'm people say. Crazy. <laughs> if you have to explain that you're not crazy, then you probably are. You know what? It's subjective, like you said. <laughs> so, go on. Let's see these questions. But I, personally, I'm not crazy. <laughs> the next question. Do you expect to have the password to his phone? For me, why would you want to hurt yourself like that? Thing is, even if someone isn't being unfaithful, there's always something you're going to find that you don't like. Mm -hmm. And from past experience, I went through someone's phone... And it ended in tears. So, no, I don't ends, ends, ends. want the password to your phone. But that's just me. So, no, I don't need the password. I don't expect to have it. But you mustn't now be dodgy and, like, hide your phone. Like, if I want to take a selfie, yeah. you shouldn't now. Hey, because James. you don't know what you're going to find. So, like, we need there needs to be transparency. But I'm not going to sit through and check your phone. I don't want to have a heart attack at 22. No, thanks. Because you definitely will have <laughs> You will find. Whatever it is that you want to find, you will find. Personally, I agree with what Nofuna said. I don't need the password to your phone. Gee, like there's no need. Honestly, there's no need. Mm -mm. Okay, question number two. Do you believe in splitting the bill on first dates? Hell to the no. <laughs> Go home. No, it's a no for me. It's a no for me. Because oh, it's not a date anymore. Now... We just took each other out. It's we're like a married out couple now. No, even if you're married, like I believe in spoiling someone, but there should be turns. Like if today is your turn to do date night, you yeah. pay for everything. Not the hi, come at fifty percent of two hundred and five. That that's not cute. No. And for me, I feel like men are pursuers, so 
First dates, we're already seeing girls. Imagine <laughs> date five. I'll be no, paying for no everything. Worries. It's a no, G. It's a definite no. Not that we like money, but I just believe that men are pursuers. Mm. And if a man wants to be with you, he'll show interest. And men have a lot of pride, especially when it comes to finances. Mm. So if you're splitting the bill. On the first date. Baby. On the first date. <laughs> High no shade, no. It's a no. If you can't afford to take someone out fully on your own, it's a Yeah. yeah. You're out with friends at Groove. You bump into your boyfriend. Do you expect him to leave his friends and come chill with you? Okay. I don't groove anymore. Disclaimer. But in the past, why would you be at Groove without me? What are you? No. <laughs> what? I, I, I saw <laughs> every weekend. Me puma. For na puma now. Like yeah. he was there. I mean, we're going to be married and living together one day. And no, I, I don't get this thing of men putting their friends before their girlfriends. A girlfriend is an investment. Okay, but this, the situation is that, say he did go out gay and he left you behind. But and then you go out as well. And then you Why did he him. leave me behind? But now you're also there without him. Because he left me behind. I wouldn't be there without him <laughs> if he didn't leave me. Thing is, I don't get it. Like, for me, I feel like... When you're in a relationship, you want to spend all your free time with your significant other. Mm -hmm. So you're going to groove without your significant other for what? So in a situation that it happened, okay. So, okay, we get that. Now it happened. Now he's Well, there. of course you're going to leave whoever you with. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am your everything. Your sun, your moon. What are you doing? <laughs> That's okay. just my perspective. I hear you. And the reason I'm so reserved about this is because I've been in this situation before. I didn't tell him. He didn't tell me. We just like rocked up. Here I was. There he was. And did he not mise me? Did he not pretend like he had never laid eyes on me before? Yeah, well, this is what happens. Men, Jola, it's world of the married. No, I, I can't. Oh, the married. I can't. <laughs> Oh, brothers, Wangiziba. Like, he ignored me. So then I ignored him. But then, honestly, by the end of the night, we ended up all chilling in the same sort of, like, section. But I was still scarred. So, yes. Um, okay. Your boyfriend comes to pick you up and a girl, his best friend, is in the front seat. Do you sit at the back or demand front seat? Why? Why? She stood in the front. Why does she exist? You know, that's the question. Female best friend. You become Why? the female best friend when you're dating a man. Like, like I don't think people understand because, okay, well, at least for me, I don't date just for, like, fun. I date you because I see, you know, us being potentially married. Mm -hmm. And when I, a female best friend, what is that? The audacity to just oh, even take the friend seat. And then let's say maybe when hell freezes over, you do have a female best friend. Mm. Why is she in the front? Why is she in your car? Why are you alone in your car? With your female best friend. I just feel like certain things, it's about boundaries and respect. You the one who has to tell her, okay, you were sitting in the front, but now sick people my court. Mama. How crazy men are like how dumb no offense but he must stay he's not even gonna see a problem also if, chila and he'll watch you take the back seat if he sees this video now he knows now i'm not gonna explain that to him <laughs> if he sees this video you can have for me okay i know female besties are a no-no but say you do have a female bestie just don't even come pick me up air corner unless I vibe with her. See, you know? I'll be the three of us. You know, it's so weird. Unless it's like a situation where maybe the friend is the one who, like, we met through the friend. You know, sometimes but that happens. Still, or we all know each it, other. Then... Or we're all in the same group of friends. In that situation, let's say like a C squad. Oh, we're all yeah. a squad. It's boys and girls. And mm -hmm. then... Now we start dating, and then there's a friend in the group. Okay. In that situation, it's like, okay, but Naya, she must respect me enough to know that. But see, absolutely. Whether we're friends or not, see, absolutely. The three of us. It happens. Uh, I mean, I can't make some. Um, if you're driving with your boyfriend and pick up his mom to drop her off somewhere, who takes the front seat, you or his mom? His mom can take the front seat. Honestly, I don't mind. If I'm still your girlfriend, you haven't married me. So I'm not going to make such a demand. 
But once we marry, hey, even then, you know what? His mom can take the front seat. It's yeah. fine. I feel like, okay, as a girlfriend, you can't expect that. Yeah. But then when you're married, he must tell his mom. Thing is, I don't want to fight with nobody's parents. Ngizelangawe. So you need to call your people into order. Because mm -hmm. I'm not, imagine how rude it will be me telling someone's mother, yay, this is my seat. So if the man doesn't do that, nothing's all tall but inside do it. And he'll get a mouthful about it when we get home. But because I respect the mother and I respect him, I won't say anything. I'm so scared. But he should know. Husband. <laughs> <laughs> like, we need to refer your husband back to this video. The day you get married, I'll be like, listen, brother-in-law, please just, just watch he this video. Know. Take notes. Okay, personally, shame with his mother. It's fine. She takes a friend seat. It's fine. Like, you nah, know, what, it's where fine. are we going with his mother? Some people are like going to drop her off somewhere, or maybe you're taking your grocery shopping. These things happen. But then, once... then I can't be a girlfriend. I just need to be a wife right away. You know what, gentlemen, if you are interested, please just know who's your proposer. Day one, you're coming to propose. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, they, they've listened, they've heard. I'll direct the DMs to you. <laughs> Do you want him to text daily or just check up every second day or once a week? Kaibo, check up for once. I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> you will text me every day. Like, that's a given. I've, yo, the experience of people not talking to you, Gupelu 24 hours, is a no no. Like, it's a no. So much happens in a day. It so does. much happens in a day. Like, how do you huh? sleep not speaking to I a significant know. other? Like, you don't know if they're alive, mm -hmm. you don't know if something's happened. You know, like I get that we're adults, we can't text like twenty four seven, but at least check up on me like once a mm. day, twice a day, or like yeah, morning text, yeah, nah, good it's night. It's not text. that much. It it's really simple. isn't. These are bare minimum stuff. This honestly. is the like, scraping the ground no. actually. I but I guess it's the world we live in. <sighs> Nisham in my food new relationship because when you start mm. doing things like that, it means you don't want a relationship. Also, like, what if your girlfriend? What if your girlfriend dies? So you're gonna <laughs> find out three days later. <laughs> three days later. But oh, by the way, she passed away because I need to be Zushaya checkups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> checkups, not to say like, <laughs> If your man's is out at the club, mm -hmm. do you expect him to keep texting you regularly and giving you updates till you get home? You all know because I won't do that, so I don't expect him to do that. Like you're out to have fun. Text me before you go. Be like, yeah, Puma tonight. What's what, what, what. Be like, shop, have fun. Then text me, Mubu. Yeah, no. For me, it's a no. You don't have okay, to. Okay. Once again, it's tricky for me to answer this question because because you don't grow. I wouldn't expect him to be at the club. First of all, because I don't go I'm to coming. clubs. So <laughs> why are you going to clubs? But anyways, let's say again, yeah, we do grow. Mm -hmm. Um. I just feel like when people are drunk and lit, they show who they really care about. So if your man oh, is so drunk, drunk takes things. Yeah. Okay, when you put like, it like what, that. What are you thinking about if not your significant other when you're drunk? That's the okay. first person that should come to mind. Now I'm mm, changing. Exactly. I thought it was like, you know, just like I'm at the club, I'm about to sip. Now I'm sitting down. I thought it was like that kind of thing. Try and take things, of, co of course. Like, of course. If you're not trying to text me, who are you trying to text me? <laughs> exactly. I'm saying no. But for me, that's also an issue for me. Because I just feel like all the free time that a man has, he, he should, should dedicate texting. to you. you so now, queen. if you're at the club and you're not texting mm -hmm. me, you're not thinking about me, what are you doing? Who are you looking at? It's not even an insecurity mm -hmm. thing, but people show you if they're on your mind. Mm. And when a man really wants to be with you, when he's serious about you, he constantly texts you the whole time. When you take like 10 minutes to reply, you say, hi, but what's happening? Are you okay? But like once he starts saying things like, oh no, I just got caught up. I've been busy or I passed out. Mm. Uh, goo, goo, uh, <laughs> the relationship is dead. <laughs> Oh, if you like text him and he doesn't reply, yeah. As a pedro the next day, I got the your groove. Oh, sissy, <laughs> say goodbye. Just say goodbye. Just accept that it's over. Because, it's wow. it's a wrap. Next question. 
your boyfriend's sister has an issue with you and she makes it clear what should boyfie do i'm not dating your sister though but like, so wait so what if he's very close to the sister but what are her reasons like what are her reasons i'd want to know why does she say i can't tell me you know some people just I just don't like you. Yeah, like I'm pure, I'm pure. Oh, I'm sorry, my sister. Like, <laughs> if he doesn't choose me over his sister, then that relationship can't go on. True. Like it can't go on. I mean, come on, it's your sister, it's your sibling. Your sister can't be to you what a girlfriend is supposed to be. That's so true. you're gonna choose. Is it sister or girlfriend? <laughs> and then yeah. For me, it's also just I'm not gonna be fighting with your family. You. That's your job. I mean, I see your family, I'm the sweet angel face. I'm not mm. calling nobody out. It's not in my place to do that. Because mm. so you need to sort your sister out. It's Yo. not going to work. Imagine saying kwe bana with no way. That's just weird. Mm-mm. And then the last question. Is he allowed to keep in contact with exes? Hell to the no! no. It's a no. It's a no for me. Yo. That was dramatic, but it needed to be dramatic because why? Hell. I feel like besides trust or whatever, it's just a thing about respect. <sighs> Keeping in contact with them for what? Like me, me, me. What are you guys talking about? Because you guys dated, you have history. Ex in the past, uh, the feelings are there. Mm-hmm. Like you putting in yourself, you putting yourself in a place where you could be tempted or whatever. And I or feel now like- you start reminiscing. Now you're comparing Yo. the person you are with to the. What are you guys no. talking about? The ones I... that like frustrate me the most are the ones that no, we just have like a special relationship. Uh, and then no. when she's going through things, I'm the only one ha! that she can talk to. Get a therapist, boo boo. So my Get man a... is the only one you can talk to when you're going to the Where are your friends? No, it's a no. Shame. No, I've seen it so mm. many times. It's like, no, we're not dating, but just it's you a know connection. What? You know. <laughs> I also, to be fair, I also won't be in touch with any exes. I need any connect to no chase. You know? <laughs> Please. That's a good one. Code that. Code that. It's a no, Jay. Like, no, we can't. There's no need. Just There's from no a need. respect perspective. It's mm. not even like an insecure thing, but just out of respect for one another. Please. No. It's a no for me. It's a no for me. My closing remarks is just, it's just about respect. Besides being a crazy girlfriend, Mm. just respect one another. Then no one will have to act crazy. And if someone starts making you act crazy, leave. Because you should never be with someone that makes you act out of character. Now you're out here, you're you're dragging someone to filth the back, you're swearing. Mm. You don't even swear. But now, like it's not cute once you start I'm hiding. <laughs> Why? I'm hiding. Why? this is too close to home no. <laughs> don't do it now no. once you start acting like that just leave because someone's supposed mm. to bring out the best in you not the worst amen and people always show you if they're serious about you so once you start asking for the bare minimum if you start asking him to text back Mm. Um, that's it. Save yourself the drama and leave because of petty level. Mm. Anyways, that's just my two cents. I'm still <laughs> single if anyone's watching. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you guys agree with us when we say that we are technically not crazy girlfriends. We're we not. just know what we want and we're not willing to sell. We know our worth. But who lonely get go and know your worth. Yo! It is very it is very lonely. That's the truth no one ever tells you. Yeah. You know? Go and know your worth, guys. They're like it's lonely, but we have to keep pushing because someday one gent is gonna fulfill that role. Okay. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you for having me on your channel and thank you for all the positive comments from the last video i appreciate the love and the support please don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video and have a wonderful day bye bye